Hello! What's going on, everybody? What's going on? My name is Clay Dawson. I'm going to be your host for tonight's show. The Ascension of Butt Mountain. this I got my climbing gear on I got my hiking boots my socks my pants tucked into my socks my shirt tucked into my pants there's a lot of tucking going on and I'm ready to go I hope you're all ready to go with me now um, I'm I gotta be honest with you I'm tired of shit from the, from the football game I am like super tired right now <laughs> Did anybody else go to the football game today yeah 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 all right, that's what I'm talking about. I am so dehydrated. I love going to the football games, but I get super dehydrated all the time. Every time I go to a game, I don't know why. It's probably all the standing and screaming and not drinking anything for the entirety of like three hours. That's probably what does it. Um, but it reminds me of a time where I went climbing. I was, I was on vacation with my family and a, you know family friends of ours. We went climbing and they were like, oh, it's gonna be like a 15 minute hike, you know, we won't need water, we won't need any of anything like that. And we went on this trail, and three hours later, we made it to the top of this mountain. We were in Maine, I don't know, honestly, I can't remember where we were, but we made it to the top of the mountain, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, we have to get back down now. It took us three hours to get up here. We had no water, we had zero water, I was like, 14 years old, I was almost dead. I was like, come on, this is ridiculous. <laughs> like, this is insane. Has anybody else been climbing? Anybody else been climbing? Where have you guys climbed at? Like hiking or like, have you guys like actually climbed mountains? This morning, Mount Nittany. Okay, okay. I've been up Mount Nittany a time or two. Not like very far up Mount Nittany. I just, I get like halfway and I'm like, no, this is pretty good. I'm just, happy. I'm, just happy. I'm just happy I got out of bed this morning. <laughs> Alright, so the way that this show is going to work tonight is a little bit of an experimental thing. I'm going to have three narrators because we're going to narrate some climbing clips from movies and movies. Sorry, I was trying to think of something else. I think there might be one documentary, I can't remember. Um, but... So give it up for your three narrators. Your first narrator, narrator of the night is John Walter Stockwell. Give it up for John. Give it up for John. John, uh, I'm pretty sure he's been climbing on shit Thank since he was an infant. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, John. Hi. <laughs> you like climbing. climbing shit? I'm the host here, John. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not that mean. Um, <laughs> John's been climbing on shit since he was an infant, and uh, he's a, kind of a hipster, so I'm sure he tells people he climbs and hikes. I've ascended Bud Mountain before. <laughs> this isn't my first time. So you guys are in safe hands. All right, all right. Thanks, John. Our next narrator of the night is going to be David Jonathan Walker. Give it up for David Jonathan Walker, ladies and gentlemen. Resident, resident climbing expert in Penn State right now. Yes, uh, I was visiting and um, I got the offer to be in the show and I'm just so excited uh, that I can share uh, some of my expertise uh, as I am a mountain climber. Yeah. All right, give it up for David Jonathan Walker, everybody. David Jonathan Walker. All right, and our last uh, narrator for the night is going to be Joe Esch. Everybody give it up for Joe Esch. Hey. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Jeff. Yeah. I've been a Sherpa for 23 years now. Um, I was born and raised in Nepal. And it's just a pleasure to share the mysteries of the East with all of you. What? All right. Yeah. Go ahead, people. We got Napoleon with us. That's cool. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to share this. Um, one of my friends actually got me this at the good old thrift store. And it's a guy climbing. You, you have it turned the wrong way. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's climbing, but check this I out. I don't think it's right. No, that's right. Butt Mountain. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm super excited, super duper excited for this show tonight. Um, I don't know. I, let's, let's ascend Bud Mountain together. Let's ascend Bud Mountain together. So, without further ado, I'm going to play one of my uh, many clips for the night. Let it warm up a bit. How's, every, how's everybody's weekends going? Good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was a little, uh, you know, you gotta let this warm up. I had to play music, you can't do them at the same time. A lot of stuff going on. Technical issues, we'll figure it out. 40 seconds. All right, um, anybody got any good jokes? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We don't have any. We I'm climbing is, you'd be surprised, it's a, a lot of it is, is about waiting. Okay. <laughs> that is true. You can't argue with the expert, David Jonathan Walker, everybody. Oh, it looks like we're getting there. All right, this, this first clip is The Ascent Begins from the movie North Face. Never seen it before. Looks foreign. Uh, <laughs> they're not sure how many mountains, oh no, it's mountaineers. <laughs> I thought they were counting mountains. <laughs> there are more than four mountains. I don't know if you know. I'm completely unsure of how many mountains there are. There's more than four mountains. Oh, with subtitles? Please, I give the stage oh. to my three narrators for the night. Let's give it up for them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. So right off the bat, you need to know how many mountaineers there are. That's a really important part of mountaineering. Very important. You gotta have at least two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't be one mountaineer. That's not. It's it's amazing to see it from this side because I'm usually the one on the mountain. <laughs> You see, what you notice is he's doing string because arts and crafts are very important. Keep you creative, keep you healthy, you don't fall prey to mountain madness. <laughs> I was actually guiding some people up Everest, and one guy actually just ate his own knees. It was really hard for him to walk Just the, the kneecaps. Way. Just the kneecaps. I said, man, you didn't bring your crochet. <laughs> Yeah, I always make sure to have uh, plenty of popsicle sticks if I'm going to climb a mountain. Uh, so I can build birdhouses or ha anything that comes to mind. <laughs> mountain madness, I've lost more than a few friends to it. This guy looks uh, a little fat, that's fine. <laughs> He's not going to climb a I don't know, I've seen fat people climb mountains. True, no? very true. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Mm -hmm. It says a lot. I've actually been a fat person. All right, let's give it up for our narrator. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was good. Got some good, uh, good climbing tips. Mm -hmm. Bring up, bring arts and crafts with you on a climb, so as not to, you know, succumb to mountain madness. It's also called mountain insanity or the tempting mistress. If you're on some parts of it, yeah. Okay. Good knowledge to know people. 